Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Welcome once again to the fifth segment of the Realms of Prayer Conference. The Intercession Assassin Series continues. And praying that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ continues within you, amongst you, until the end of time. We are coming from four different presentations and that were fully loaded with the different nuggets, different spiritual concepts and principles that guide us in our prayer life and in today's presentation without wasting much of your time is the word of god will never waste your time let us get into scriptures in the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 1 and it reads take it that you do not perform or, or do your alms before men to be seen of them otherwise you have no reward of your father which is in heaven therefore when you do your alms do not sound a trumpet before others as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men verily i say unto you they have already received their rewards when jesus was teaching pertaining this matter he was teaching and instructing not everyone but he was giving an awareness of the pharisees and the sadducees the pharisees and the sadducees they were known for doing every act of the spirit or every spiritual act they were known as the religious elders who acted spiritually yet they were not spiritual meaning that whatever they did in every activity that was divine which includes even praying they would want to pray so that they would attain or receive the glory of men and Jesus says, Very I say unto you, they have already received their reward. And the reward is simple. The reward is that there is no beneficiency in a prayer that is done for the sake of men. Now, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 5, Jesus then says, When you pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites. And how do the hypocrites pray? For they love to, to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Now, I need to explain this type of prayer that Jesus is, is, is illustrating here with the words during a teaching. There is a prayer that is never done for God. I remember explaining that type of prayer and that type of prayer is a prayer that can actually be done by a believer and to another believer there are people that are praying out of frustration there are people that are praying out of anger there are people that are praying out of emotional matters and when they pray they are praying probably out of bitterness so when they are praying they are praying so that their message their words they reach another person they are not praying to be heard by god they are praying so that they can be heard by the person that they are aiming with that prayer it is just like prayers that are being done in this age which they are which they are defining as back to center those prayers they are not prayers that are done so that they are heard by god indeed they are warfare prayers 
What of a prayers that are done to beg you with the enemy. But the type of prayer that Jesus is talking about here is a prayer where one actually kneels down and begins to pray so as to be heard by his neighbor and one begins to pray so that they are heard by a certain specific group of people and one begins to pray so that the community can applaud him for being a prayer warrior the prayer that jesus is talking about here which one does so that he can seek the validation of men it is a prayer that one does so that they can get applauded they can get enhanced they can get ordained by men when you pray so that people clap hands for you when you pray so that people rate the level of prayerfulness that you have attained you are no longer praying for the sake of your spirit you are no longer praying so that the lord hears you you are now praying out of grievances you are now praying out of mourning there are people that are praying because of anger they want to release their frustrations in prayer they want to pray so that they can frustrate someone else they want to pray so that they can be heard by the next person you can pray as a wife at the level so that your husband that is sleeping in the bedroom can hear your grievances you can pray as a husband out of frustration you can pray as a husband up until it reaches a level that cannot be foretold whether you are praying unto God or you are scolding your wife. What kind of prayer are you doing? Jesus is talking about the hypocrites that are praying, but they love to pray standing in the synagogues. They want the society to know that they are prayerful. They are praying while still standing in corners of the streets so that they can be seen by men so that they can be seen by relatives they are praying at the loudest of their voices so that the church can really say these are the prayer warriors verily i say unto you that they have already received their rewards and the reward is nothing but you when you pray enter into the closet and when you have shut the door pray to the father which is in secret and the father which is in secret shall reward you openly now the scriptures have written unto us about many women and men that prayed and many women and men that prayed they have been written about meaning that there is also a prayer that can be done so that it edifies the church meaning that there is a prayer that can actually get recorded so that it can boost someone else's faith but there is a prayer from within the heart that is done to glorify yourself what kind of prayer are you doing child of god why because there are many types of prayer there are many inspirations behind prayers so what kind of prayer are you doing what motive do you have why least you are praying for very i say unto you that they have received their rewards by loving to pray why least they are standing outside the synagogues in the marketplaces you see them praying why least they are just having a conversation in the peace of a middle street they want to include tongues they have their reward already but you when you pray enter your closet and the father that is in secret shall hear your secret prayer but I, like i say it is not every secret prayer that is meant to be done there are prayers that are meant to be done to edify the church when one prays for the church when one prays to strengthen the church he is not praying hypocritically as the pharisees did why because the pharisees they prayed so that they could get attention they were attention seekers in their prayer life but when you pray again 
Use not vain repetitions. Why? Because we have got people that continue praying. And as they are praying, they want to be heard. And as they are heard, they continue repeating what they prayed for. And as they, they continue repeating what they prayed for yesterday. They continue praying about it today. And they continue praying about it tomorrow. Why do you continue praying about what you prayed about yesterday? If you believed, if you really believed that God heard you, it means your prayer is lacking substance in terms of faith. Even God that is hearing your prayer can actually tell that this one is not convinced. He's not convinced. Why? Because he's repeatedly praying about one and the same thing. He's not changing his prayer lines. He's not changing his, his prayer points. He's speaking in tongues, but deep inside his heart, he has got one motive. When you are doing vain repetitions of praying for material things, that is where most of you major the most. Why? Because you are praying for material things. You don't believe that when you are praying in the spirit, God can answer you even in the material things. So you want to repeatedly pray about the same thing and you are probably praying for a car. And while least you are praying for a car, you are praying about a car, you are praying for a car, the whole year you are praying for a house. And these prayers are knowing God. Why? Because there are many prayers that you ought to do. There is a prayer for your right standing relationship with God. There is a prayer for the afterlife. There are, there are prayers that are done just for thanksgiving. Prayers that you must do just to thank God for the breath of life. But you are yet praying one and the same prayer that is frustrating God. What are you praying for, child of God? Are you praying to be heard? Are you praying so that you get uploaded? Are you praying so that you hit your target? What is your target? Are you praying so that you hit your mark? What is your mark? There are prayers that are frustrating God. There are prayers that have angered God. There are prayers that have displeased God. When a prayer is repeated, one and the same thing in prayer, you cannot even speak in tongues. But while you are even speaking in tongues, you are recorded inside your mind and your heart and your spirit that it is one and the same thing is praying for a car. If he doesn't get the car, he is going to backslide very soon. There are people that have bothered me asking me to pray for them so that they meet the right partner but in quest of meeting that partner is a big slide once one prays obsessively for something that god is not ready to give him away eventually there is going to be confusion there is going to be a disruption. Why? Because the devil is also able to answer those prayers. The devil is going to send a prayer, a prayer in form of the package that was inside the requisition of that prayer. Meaning that the devil is simply going to answer that prayer. Many that have stood on the pulpit of God testifying about what God has done, it was not even God. Why? Because after testifying about a prayer that was done in quest to get a car, you hear that one has died in a fatal car crash. After you have prayed and you are praying for a boyfriend, why did that boyfriend cause you to pick slide? That is not God that answered that prayer, child of God. Had it been God that answered that prayer, had it been Jesus that answered that prayer, then you would not be in that situation. So, your prayer needs to be evaluated. Who were you praying to? What kind of prayer were you doing? Were you praying for the will of God to be done? So, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard in many of their prayers. Be therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth the things that you need to be therefore not like them rather why because the father already knows what you need after this matter after this matter after this manner therefore pray saying our father who art in heaven hallowed 
be thy name thy kingdom come thou be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread when the scripture says give us this day our daily bread is talking about it all the material things seek first the kingdom of god and all these other things shall be added upon your life and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation when the scripture says lead us not in, into temptation when jesus says lead us not into temptation he's not saying you're not going to come across temptation he's saying you're going to come across temptation but when you come across temptation you will know how to overcome the temptation so you are not going to be led into temptations that you cannot overcome so the temptations that are going to come they are going to be temptations that you can dethrone but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen for if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you we have people that enter into prayer without forgiving others you are wasting your time as long as you are praying and you have not forgiven someone you are wasting your time but again there are people that you have forgiven but after forgiving those people we have to keep a distance away from those people why because they are annoying us they are disrupting us there could be people that are negative against our prayer life there could be people that are critics you could be like the revelator who prays so loudly and he, he is surrounded by critics he's surrounded by people that are hypocrites he's surrounded by people that want to annoy him you are going to be left with no choice why because you will have to pray while you are isolated from the outside world so whenever we talk about prayers that are in vain it is a prayer that is done while least you are bitter you are praying out of bitterness and you have not forgiven someone you are praying out of bitterness and there's someone that you hate where is that prayer going those are the prayers that are hated by lucifer why because as you are releasing the energies of the prayer that that is filled with the bitterness as you are releasing the energy of prayers that are associated with the anger is you are releasing the energies of the prayer that are associated with your greed lucifer hears that prayer perfectly well and very soon you are going to be rewarded with the empty uh, response the empty response might be a package filled with the material things that are good looking to the level that people will believe that you have actually been answered by god yet god never answered you child of god for god to answer prayers it takes a certain level of a righteous prayer a prayer that is done evidently well a prayer that is done out of purity a prayer that is done out of holiness a prayer that is done by one that is not in filthy sinful activities therefore pray and as you pray and fast do not disfigure your faces why because so that you may appear unto others that you are fasted so that you may be known by others that you are prayerful but rather when you pray and fast anoint your face wash your face do not make it evident unto others that you are a prayer warrior there are people that are fasting and praying and they want the whole world to know that today they have fasted on each and every day which they pray they want the whole world to know that yesterday they were fasted tomorrow they are fasting again it is no longer being done for the glory of god child of god i am praying that after you have prayed and interceded you will not be rejected by the holy spirit in the name of jesus